So we got this cool chalk truck that we get. And uh, look at what we happen to see on there. An AV, and it definitely wasn't me. I don't have green chalk or blue on my hand. Subscribe to Arctic Vet on YouTube. Here, do you want a piece of chalk? Look, they already did it both sides. Yeah, somebody already. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Who? Subscribe to Arctic Vet on YouTube. Check that out. Oh, look. S nice signature. Here, I'll put. Boom. Yes. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today, we've got another bee in our face. The boys are getting ready to come on up here. We're gonna dive into our Jesus Calling book, and then we're gonna head off to church. I'm not sure why OD has 29 shirts on today. Eyes <laughs> got Jack. Are you wearing your blue shirt to match us? It's in the dryer. Get you a drink if you want a drink. I got the Oh, you got me a drink too? Woo! Where we got that AC blasting from yesterday. I got pushed high. Got pushed real high in the hammock. So anyhow, we're about to head off to uh Cars and coffee. <laughs> to church. <laughs> Let's read our devotional for today. Alright, so after some incidents with doors, we're back for Sunday, October 10th. Trust me enough to let things happen without striving to predict or control them. Relax and refresh yourself in the light of my everlasting love. My love light never dims, yet you are often unaware of my radiant presence. When you project yourself into the future, rehearse what you will do or say. You are seeking to be self-sufficient, to be adequate without my help. This is a subtle sin so common that it usually slips by unnoticed. <clears throat> the alternative is to live fully in the presence depending in the present <laughs> depending on me each moment rather than fearing your inadequacy adequacy rejoice in my abundant supply train your mind to seek my help Cohen I will help you in two seconds okay my continual even when you feel competent to handle something by yourself don't divide your life into things you can do by yourself and things that require my help. Instead, learn to rely on me in every situation. This discipline will enable you to enjoy life more and to face each day confidently. Now, let's help Cohen out. I think he needs... Did you get it? You got it. He got it. He got it. He's good. Now we all got our shirts on. And we're headed to the church. We're going to be just a, a little bit late, but that's okay. A little late, never. Uh, late, late's better than never. That's what I'm trying to say. Whew, here we go, guys. So we're going to let the kiddos shoot today. We're going to learn some little gun safety here. First, we're going to give Cohen heads, headphones. You can have some headphones. Lily, I got these. are purple kind. We'll get the other hooligans over here. We got the little pellet gun out there. So we're going to get the pellet gun. Did I bring a target? I don't think you did. Yep, I forgot a target. Okay. So here is our pellet gun. And I'm wearing them. Here is Lily's BB gun. Is that actually a BB gun? Yes, sir. Why does it look like a shotgun? There's a real shotgun. Where's that shotgun? This that is our BB gun. Shotgun? Where's the shotgun that shot out the flames? That's Jessica's, which Jessica's. is not here. Oh. And then we have the revolver. our revolver. 
and the shotgun. Now, okay. I think it's on safety. Yep, hit it. Hey, yep, push it down. <laughs> Which way do I push it? You want the red to show. So see how there's red now? Yeah. There you go. Now it's hot. <laughs> Boom. That was easy. There, it's ready. Try and hit that can. Pump it. Shoot it. Ooh. Let me see. Hold on. You're shooting at everybody. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't. <laughs> Okay. You want to shoot Louis? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Sit here. Safety's on. Oh, I want to. You don't need those quite yet. So how Wait. do you take safety? Like this? You push the other side. Push this side in. There. Now it's ready. Do you cock it? Because we did it. All the way. I need your help. I think you got it. I'll push it, push it all the way down. Like now you're ready to shoot. <laughs> Good job. Can I shoot again? Mommy, Hold on. Turn hey, what are you doing? Turn wait, you need to go over there. Wait. Come over here. I'll do you wait a second before you shoot it, please. <clears throat> okay, ready? There you go. The bottle's over there if you want to shoot at it. Oof. I don't know if anything came out that long. There's still some in there. They're both gonna shoot at the same time. I'm good. I had two pistols last time and shot them at the same time. Stay back. Ready? One, two, three. Poof. Got the buffalo. Anyhow, we gotta shoot the shotgun. I uh, forgot the GoPro was in my pocket and didn't get any of that, but that it was really cool. Legs, that um, all of them that were like, oh. <laughs> and Cohen actually cried afterwards. Poor guy, it was terrifying to him, but look at him now. Ooh, all right, guys, well, so we uh, went off to church and uh, it was a real good sermon today. Um, However, for our video today, we uh, luckily Friday night after school, we uh, went out shooting out in the field, uh, took the boys and Lily, took the, took the kids out there, let them shoot, and um, man, they enjoyed it. So actually, I went ahead and I put that in before this for today's video, because to be honest with you guys, I don't want to show you guys cleaning the whole house. We woke up, we, we did our chores, we did the dishes, we did laundry, we took the trash out, and now they're finishing up, like, picking up blankets and toys and stuff like that. That's kind of boring. It's kind of boring stuff. And, I mean, if you guys want to see that, we can totally make a cleaning day vlog. I'm, I'm down for it. I'm not going to be embarrassed or uh, ashamed of how messy the house gets with just me and three boys because let me tell you it gets messy it gets yeah. messy doesn't it yeah, all done good job now you guys may if you're quiet about it okay I know Cohen is napping so they got to be quiet but we're definitely gonna be having a pumpkin video coming up uh, carving that's gonna be a lot of fun I'm not too sure when probably one of these days after school We'll do it. However, I hope that you guys enjoyed their shooting. That was a ton of fun to, to do with them. Um, that was their first time ever shooting a revolver, the pellet gun, and a shotgun. <laughs> I just dove straight on in. <laughs> so now they know, they know a little bit more about gun safety, a little bit more about them not being toys, because right now, all they really know is Nerf guns. And a BB gun. So I mean, you, you got to teach them at some time, and right now is a perfect timing. So 
it was it was good to good to get out there and do that but as far as today after church we went and we had dinner with well i say dinner but i mean lunch we had lunch with um my dad and mom and brother dakota and i think that was it yeah yep so we had us some lunch these little birds over here i don't know if you guys can see them it's on that branch Anyways, God is amazing. Nature is beautiful. You all are beautiful. And thank you very much for clicking that red subscribe button. If you haven't, go ahead. Now's the time. And if you have any friends or any family members that aren't subscribed, please go ahead and ask them to subscribe as well. Because we're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. And not only is that going to allow us to be monetized, but that's a, going to allow us to go live when on my phone, go live on my phone, even maybe my GoPro through the app. I don't even know. But we'll be able to go live when we're out and about doing stuff like, say, a car show. We go to a car show, right? Instead of making a recorded video of it, we could do a live stream of it. That'd be really cool. If we're out of pumpkin patch doing something, oh, good morning, Colin. We could live stream parts there. Yes, we can watch TV in there, okay? We're gonna take a nap. Go get it. Go get it ready. <laughs> so, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget, drop us some comments down below. Let us know how your Sunday go went. You're going you already took a nap. Dude, that nap was like five minutes. He's definitely taking a longer nap because it's been a stressful day. It's been a stressful day. Lots of fits and whining and crying. And for those of you parents out there that understand, that's yeah. It's a lot to be a parent. And it's even more to be a single parent. <laughs> but you know what? I wouldn't trade it for the world, so it's the best blessing of my life to be honest with y'all so anyways we'll catch you guys tomorrow in another daily arctic vet vlog till then have a great day god bless